Hello and welcome back to Let's Be the Arch Enemy. I've set up my first game already. Soren Markov against the machinations of the march to war and be knighted. The forces of good think that they oppose me. They think themselves good. Do they not know how I saved my own plane? Every friggin' creature in this hand requires three mana to play efficiently. I mean, I can play this guy as a bear, but why would I ever want to play this guy as only a 2-2 two -two for two? Uh, I'll draw a new hand. This one was worse. I mean, there's that guy. All right. I delight in your convulsions. <laughs> I drain your life to feed my own. Yeah, I can't friggin' do that. Hey, whatever, I'll draw land eventually. And if not, then it's not my fault that I friggin' lose. Thank you, Tezzy. He's so nice to me, you know. Plus, that means I have an unblockable to get this guy online. All right. Oh, good. Feed the machine. Fine. Either be knighted. Either you sacrifice two creatures, or everybody else sacrifices one. Yep. yep. Okay. Fine. Whatever. Uh. Da -da -da -da. Attack Tezzy. It doesn't matter, but he's the one who can actually, you know, destroy my creatures. The rest of them can uh, march to war, can deal damage, and be knighted can. Be indestructible, I think, but Tezzeret can actually destroy my creatures because he has black. He can destroy target non artifact creature, which is annoying. So, yeah, we're gonna keep going vamp. All right. Oh crap! A steel overseer. That's not good. I mean, this guy kind of makes it pretty good for me, but I can't take I can't take it yet. I don't have the vampires for that yet. Suntail hawk or squadron hawk, not suntail hawk. Oh crap! They are getting a lot of stuff here. I don't like this. I really don't like this. Okay. Your fate is thrice sealed. Ooh, I get to get possible lands onto the battlefield. Or I just draw a fuck ton of cards and... Okay, let's see. Swamp... I can play Miri the Cursed this turn. I think I'm gonna do that. Actually, I can also play... Hmm... Alright, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to... It's an instant. Awesome. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to play Mary the Cursed. And I'm going to swing with the Quag Vampire at Tezzy. Because they can't swing at me because Mary the Cursed has First Strike. And she's honestly kind of amazing. Alright, so I think next turn I'm going to play the Captivating Vampire, leave up my blockers, and then urge to feed on their turn. Because... It's fucking amazing. This card is great. Oh yeah, this this scheme. I get to look at the top, I get to reveal the top three cards in my library. Land cards go to the field. Other cards go to my hand. It's pretty amazing. <sighs> also, we are at equal total life totals, so that's fun. Alright, who's doing what? Also, if I gotten that first turn, I would have gotten just three lands on the battlefield, so I could have played, like, the Sangromancer turn one. Which is kind of busted. But I'm okay with how the schemes have gone. Ah, they didn't swing, because they know that Miri's amazing. 
Snapsail Glider. Okay, it doesn't have flying yet, and you still can't block my Swamp Walker. Knight Exemplar. That is a problem. I think I know what I'm going to be urged to feeding. Seriously, get two of those out, and all of your eyes are just indestructible forever, and that's a Vampire Nighthawk. Um, eh, it's not worth it yet. Okay, gonna play the Swamp, gonna play Vampire Nighthawk, and then I'm gonna wait for Swingers. Because this makes all my creatures get bigger, so. Lightning Helix, crap. Now there's nothing I can do about that, so I'm just gonna let it resolve. Because, like, even if I do urge to feed, that thing is still dead. Like, Miri is still dead, so. Whatever. Whatevs, man. Yeah, I'm gonna urge to feed the Knight Exemplar. Because then I can block whatever they swing with. Oh, and there goes the Steel Overseer, of course. Okay, fine. Whatever. Alright, who's doing what? I liked Miri, dick. I draw a land next turn and play both these guys. I just need one more vampire and I can start taking control of things. So probably the Sangromancer. Okay. Come on, swing at me with your indestructible 3-3. Nothing can possibly backfire here. Come on, you know you want to. Okay. Well. Alright, I gotta block first. Okay, so here's how this is gonna go down. Benolish Knight. Okay. Why did you do that? I don't... Ah. Oh, crap. Whatever. Fine. Apparently, we gotta do this. I mean, it's got Death Touch, so it's still going to kill the thing, but I'd prefer if it ate it. I'm gaining one more life regardless, and... That's a goddamn go for the throat, you bastard, Tezzeret! You fucking bastard, Tezzeret! You're a complete asshole, you know that, Tezzeret? Pro tip, don't fight Tezzeret, he's a bastard. Okay, your will is not your own. God damn it, you're right. Okay, I'm gonna take this. That's useless. Bloodgast gets haste as long as an opponent is at 10 or less life. Guess what, an opponent's gonna be at 10 or less life after this. Captivating Vampire, power that all my other vamps. Alright, Tezzy. You want to swing at me? I'll swing at me. Something about what I just said doesn't sound right. Whatever. Alright. You want to do this? Let's do this. Let's tango, buddy. Can I please get introductions are in order next turn? Because if I can do that, I can start taking control of things. And can you guys please not have some kind of kill spell? But I know you do. There's the Dead Shell Serve was a bit early, because now people actually have things in their great... Well, she has a thing in her graveyard. But then I could have taken her knights, and they would have been indestructible. And that thing's a soldier. Because, of course it is. Armored Ascension. Why? Oh, God, he played a Venser's Journal. Oh, God. Oh, God, I am so screwed. I mean, I need something to just start destroying Perm. I need Tooth Claw and Tail here. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Yeah, no, I can't block any of that, so I'm just taking 16. Ow. 
Also, thank you for leaving yourself dead to me, Tezzeret. I mean, yeah, I'm gonna have to lose a creature, but... Rotted ones, lay siege. Damn right. Okay, Vampire Aristocrat. I'm gonna play the Blade of the Blood Chief. Equip it onto the Captivating Vampire. <laughs> All three at Tezzeret to make sure that he dies. Oh, hang on, actually. Uh, let's see, that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. I can't kill Benighted. Darn. Fifteen, sixteen. Oh, I'm one off. Okay, fine. Attack Tezzy. Who's he? Oh, goody. Oh, damn it! No! Damn it! Ah! It's okay. I'm not just dead yet. Damn it, I forgot that it was this guy I had to activate. Damn it! Okay, fine. Whatever. I fucking hate all of you. I just want you to know that. Ceridon Yearling. Sure, pile on the pain. Why not? Hurt me more, snake! Okay, who are you swinging with? Who are you fucking swinging with? I don't even want to sacrifice anything because the Blade of the Blood Chief's not on anybody. Oh, good, they're not even swinging with anybody I can block with. I can block. Okay, fine, whatever. I'm at 19. You guys happy? I'm at 9 goddamn teen. Your puny minds cannot fathom. Alright, draw me some cards here. Let's see what I got. Nothing useful. Yay. Alright, swamp. Equip the Blade of the Blood Chief. On to... Bloodgast, I think. Play the Sangromancer. Now, everybody swing at... Knighted, except for that one zombie, who physically can't. Okay, admittedly misplay, but damn it. Okay, who's blocking what? I'm gonna stop the timer this time, too. Who's blocking where? Oh, goody. Oh, goody, you're doing this for me. All right. Uh, well, sacrifice, sacrifice this guy, going to sacrifice this guy, because it gives me four power total, and let's see, this guy, it's going to make them both 8-8s. Eight Hmm. It's not quite enough, so I'm going to have to sacrifice my Quag Vampires, too. There we go. Now they're both 10-10s. Ten this one permanently, at least until it dies. And Benighted is going to be dead. There we go. All right, then. Are we done? Move this over to here. All right. Come at me, bro. 
come the fuck at me. Path to Exile. Sure. I mean, I'm not dead yet, but I'm pretty close. Fine. Whatever. Oh, he's just swinging out? Okay. Bold defense. Am I just dead? I don't know. I don't think I am. I am not just dead. Okay. I'm pretty damn close, though. I think he just blew his... St I think he just blew all of his stuff, though. The dead shall serve. Do you, do you even have any creatures in your graveyard? You don't. Okay, fine. All right, Vampire Nighthawk. Blade of the Blood Chief. On this thing. This thing can't block anyway, so I might as well swing. He blocks great, if not whatever. He didn't block. Good. Now, play the Vampire Outcasts, who are a 4 4 lifelinker, and I should be able to survive for a turn. He's got two cards in hand, seven mana, one card in hand. Fuck you, sir. Fuck you hard. Okay. We can make that thing a 5 4. I'm okay with trading for that. Because this gains me some. This gains me four life and puts two counters on my vampire Nighthawk. I'm okay with that. I am definitely okay with that. All right. Introductions are in order. Let's get a life. Let's get a creature card from my library, please. Okay. Butcher of Malak here is a is a uh, call to the or not a call to the grave. Great pact. Drana Calistria Blood Chief would let me start killing things. Gatekeeper of Malak here is nice. Uh, send your vampires, okay. Another quag vampires. Vampire Nocturnus, but I think I'm just gonna go with Calistria. Oh, good. Watch this. Alright. Play Calistria. Now, activate her ability to kill the Double Striker. She gets a power up, which doesn't really matter right now. I just got an email. But I can swing for 8 and for 10. And admittedly, I don't have that many blockers, but I don't need them. <sighs> Thank you for the life. Okay, I was significant. I was very worried about this game. You saw, I was at I was at fucking four life. Also, this game's taking twenty minutes. So I'm not going to do a second one. <sighs> that was intense. He put recumbent bliss on my twelve thirteen. Okay, I'll just move the blade of the blood sheep then. Watch this. I can just sacrifice that creature. I delight in your convulsions. Put me above your life total. Yay. Alright, so watch this. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some overkill here. Equip this onto onto Drana. Now have this guy sacrifice this guy. So she gets two counters. Now she is going to feed on that thing. I need to pay two to kill it. And then I kick a vampire's bite on her. She gets two more counters from the Blade of the Blood Chief. I play a swamp, because apparently I need to. And now I swing for 17, 27. 13 of which has a lifelink, and she... He just raised the goddamn alarm! Alright then. 
No, he's still just dying. You you could have survived. I mean, you really couldn't. I would have just sacrificed the vampire aristocrat to his own ability. But you could have, like, all, with what was on the board, you could have survived that. Okay, whatever. Apparently the AI is dumb. We know this. So, oh my god, that was intense. <sighs> vampires! Vampires everywhere! I am legitimately surprised that, uh, when I swung out with, like, all the zombies at Marsh at United, that they didn't block the one that would get, the ones that would get bigger. Because it's like, you're blocking those, but not the ones that I can just make infinitely bigger. Alright! So, yeah. All right, see you guys next week for more of this. Where we're still the arch enemy because. <laughs>